Uh, to Russia now, to Moscow, as we wait for House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi to speak at any moment. Right now, Russia responding to all of this breaking news, saying when it comes to the controversy swirling around the Attorney General, well, in the meetings with the Russian ambassador, it is not their, quote, headache. Keep in mind, according to current and former U.S. officials, U.S. intelligence considers Ambassador Kislyak a Russian spy master. I want to bring in CNN senior international correspondent Matthew Chance, who is in Moscow. Matthew, you just got finished interviewing the spokeswoman for the Russian Foreign Ministry. I am sure she had some interesting perspective on what's going on here today. Yeah, she, she did. And, and, and she, along with other Russian officials, are not happy at all with the way this uh, political situation is developing in the United States. Uh, toxic hysteria is what they're calling it. Uh, the, the idea that Russia ha intervened in some way in the, in the U.S. elections. They're rejecting that, of course. Specifically, the foreign ministry spokeswoman, Maria Zaharova, pushed back strongly on the idea that the Russian ambassador to the United States, uh, Sergei Kisilak, was in any way related to espionage. Take a listen to uh, what she said. I mean, Mr. Kisilak is a, is a well-known, uh, I mean, world-class diplomat who was a deputy minister of foreign affairs in Russia, right. who was communicated with his American colleagues through decades uh, on different fields. And CNN accused him of being a Russian spy, uh, recruiting sp oh, well, it was, my it was God. U.S. officials. That Come on, him of stop, that, that stop spreading lie and false um, news. Are, this are, is a good advice for CNN. Are you concerned that the uh, investigations into Russia are going to turn up more secret meetings? Please stop spreading lie and false news. Right, so stop spreading lies and false news. It's a, it's a refrain that we've heard elsewhere, and we're hearing it now repeatedly uh, from Russian officials as well. Uh, right. I mean, interesting, similar line coming from the Trump administration about false news and the uh, Same language. spokeswoman there for the Russian Foreign Ministry. Uh, good job getting her to, to answer your questions, Matthew Chance in Moscow. Thank you. It was really interesting seeing how, how angry she got by the end Walked of that away. exchange with Matthew, which, by the way, wasn't, you know, Matthew wasn't being rude to her. I'm in doing any way. his job. One point I want to make here is, is that the Russians level of honesty on this uh, it, it has been in question for some months as well. Remember, they flat out denied that Michael Flynn talked about sanctions right. at all with right. the Russian ambassador, when in fact now we know because people have seen the, you know, the conversations the say transcripts. that it did come up and those yeah. conversations did happen.